Hey you guys, this is 2015 BMW 228i. So let's get the drivetrain malfunction and the check engine light. Let's go ahead and scan it. We'll see what the problem is. You know the on these BMWs, especially in 20 engines, the, the newer models, as soon as you get the drivetrain malfunction, most of the people thought it's from the uh, the transmission, but it's not from the transmission. It's usually the most of the time is from the uh, uh, from the engine. So uh, we're gonna check the uh, the engine control module. What's going on with the engine? And then the check engine light so as soon as you get the drivetrain malfunction so uh, your uh, turbocharger will turn it off and then you, you'll not have you, you don't have power when you drive the car so you will lose the power let's go ahead and scan it and I will show that what's the what was the problem is so 11 C404 11 C402 the first one is a fuel quantity control valve activation short circuit to errors fuel quantity control valve activation line disconnection we have only these two codes and uh, so this both of them is giving the drive frame malfunction i'm trying to figure it out what is that thing is so i just found the problem the problem was this high pressure fuel pump this one uh, the the wiring was disconnected I think someone is tried to work on on, on this car because uh, there is some uh, like a coolant was just came out from somewhere and then someone worked on it and then when they disconnected they forgot about to just connect it back or something so that's why the problem was coming out for this problem for this one i thought the the you know on this uh the vehicles uh this one is 2015 but the 2013 or 2012 or even the uh, 2012 models uh, if the n20 engine if you disconnect this uh the the wiring you know the, the older models is the the wiring harness is kind of bigger than this one so it's only tell you the, the high pressure fuel pump line disconnection but in the newer models it's it's the, the like a quantity is the name is different right now so that's why it's just kind of confusing a little bit but this was the problem that's why the the drivetrain malfunction was coming on and then the was like a new power on the, on the car Thank you. yeah this, this was the problem thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe my channel